Hello, so today we're gonna learn how to use English Bright ESL's lessons using Class In as your classroom. So let's go ahead and enter the classroom. So here's this is gonna be you, teacher, and your student's gonna be right up here. It's gonna change the layout once the student enters. So I'm just going to show you here quick on how you can use the lessons in class in. So you got here the tools, you go to teaching toolbox and look for desktop sharing and go do that particular lesson that you want to teach for this student. And so now we're right here you really want to show this or to share this in full screen so go ahead and click this here there's three dots and click full screen that's one way there's another way you can click here start and it's gonna show you this but then like what i said it's very important to share it in full screen right and now let us go ahead and see what are the ways that you can get your students to engage because our lessons are interactive. We have um, drag and drop features and the ability to click and all that. So if your student is able to follow instructions, you can give them the ability to have the control of the dragging and dropping and all those things you go find this arrow next to note and you give them this ability to click so authorized students can click so you go ahead and check that right um so now when you go to the vocabulary you can then ask your student to click the question book, right? So when they click that, they're going to see the target vocabulary word, which is rainy. But if you if your students are little, um, I would suggest really not giving them that ability because it could just distract them and they like to play around and move things around even with just a pen tool. But then again, if you think your student is a good listener and they follow instructions, then you can give them the ability to click, right? Now, here's um, one thing you have to remember. Kids can click or drag and drop if they're using a desktop computer or a laptop. But if they're not, um, they won't be able to do that. Okay. Another way also is you can give your student an ability to draw. And what that means is they can just, you know, draw a line. Okay. Let me change my pen color. How to do that here. Draw a line. Circle. Just, yeah. Basically draw on the screen. So you have a pen tool on class in. It's right here. Right here. That's your pen tool. And you also have a pen tool built in. Um, in the lesson. So the difference is um, one main difference is that when you switch to another page, the pen using class in won't automatically disappear, but the pen using, um, I mean, the built-in pen, the loss in would just automatically be deleted. So those are the two differences. Um, so again, if your students are using a computer or a laptop, then they can click they can 
drag but if not you can just give them the ability to draw if again it won't really distract them or make them not engage in the lesson because you want them to focus right and so yeah you can also make fun of you know having them help you erase it because kids really like to help um, if you're using the pen on class in but if you're using this pen you can just go ahead and click this trash bin and unclick that just like this and another thing is you have to make sure that you share the audio if you are doing the song part right but if not um, you could turn it off especially if you have like other apps running while doing the class you don't want them hearing all the notification bells so you can turn it off if you want so yes that's how easy it is to share the lessons on class in so yes have fun and happy teaching